In this video, we're going to be decomposing fractions. So let's go ahead and read this. It says decompose a fraction into a sum of fractions with the same denominator in more than one way, recording each decomp decomposition by an equation. We can do that. We're going to do that right now. So let's review before we get started. So what does decompose mean? Decompose means to break down into smaller parts, and we've done this before. If we have the number 14, we can decompose that into 10 and 4. 10 plus 4 still equals 14, but those are smaller than 14. The, individually, they're smaller than 14. All right. Or if we had the number 50, we could decompose that into five groups of 10. Right? Five smaller groups of 10, which still equal 50, would be smaller parts than 50 as a whole thing. All right, so decompose means to break down into smaller parts. Okay, now let's say, for example, this large purple bar right here is one mile. Let's say that whole thing equals one mile. So then if I just take a portion of it, how much would this equal? Okay, well, I see that this one mile was now split into four parts and I have three of those parts. So that would mean I have three out of the four in total. That's three fourths of a mile. Okay, if you think about it like I start here and I run here and I ran one mile, same thing here. If I start here and I run, I don't run the full mile, I just run three out of the four parts of the mile. Okay, so that's three fourths of a mile. Great. Now, I can decompose three fourths into smaller parts. If I take each of these parts and break them down into what they are individually, that means each of these pieces are one fourth. So I could say that one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth equals three fourths. I just decompose three fourths into one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth. And when you do it like this, when all the numerators equal one, it's special. These are called unit fractions, okay? Fractions that have a numerator of one, that's a unit fraction. So if I decompose it and all the parts have a numerator of one, I decomposed it into unit fractions. So here we have the fraction four fifths. I have one, two, three, four of these fifths, okay? Using these blocks helps us decompose it because no matter how we break it apart, it'll be smaller parts that we could decompose it into. So look at this and think for a moment, how could you break this apart into smaller sections and still count all four pieces, okay? How could you decompose that? All right, so let's decompose the fraction four-fifths. We could decompose four-fifths into one-fifth plus one-fifth plus one-fifth plus one-fifth. Those are unit fractions, all right? That's the first one I usually go for is the unit fractions. We could also decompose four-fifths into two-fifths plus one-fifth plus one-fifth. We could also decompose four-fifths into two-fifths plus two-fifths. That makes four-fifths. And finally, we can decompose four-fifths into three-fifths plus one-fifth. I think that's all of them. If you see one that you think I missed, then you can leave a comment, but I'm pretty sure I got all of them. I, I don't know. All right, so that's decomposing fractions. I think you got it. Good luck.